Welcome to Archiversity Online Lectures. In this lecture, I am going to explain you how to calculate gross working capital, net working capital and a clear working capital using a real-time balance sheet of Hero Motor Corp Limited India. Here is a balance sheet of Hero Motor Corp Limited for the financial year 2019 and 20. The balance sheet contains assets that is uh, non-current assets, current assets, equity and liabilities and in liabilities, non-current liabilities as well as a current liabilities. The formula for gross working capital equals to sum of current assets. So here from a balance sheet, it is very easy to identify the sum of current assets. Now here is your total current assets and the amount is here. This is 8288.56 crore. So your gross working capital, this equals to 8288.56 crore then comes your networking capital so your networking capital equals to sum of current assets minus sum of current liabilities so already you have a sum of current assets that is 8288.56 crore minus sum of current liabilities now here you can see the current liabilities so the total of a current liabilities is 3976.06 crore 3976.06 crore so your networking capital equals to 8288.56 minus 3976.06 so your networking capital is 4312.5 crore rupees now this is how you need to calculate the gross working capital and a networking capital However, the purpose of estimating working capital requirements is to know that how much of your funds is tied up in a business process. So in that case, if you look at the individual items of uh, current assets, you'll find inventories, then your financial assets, investments, trade receivables, cash and equivalents, loans and others. That means investments is the excess amount that you have with your firm and which you invested in other companies and which yields you return. Similarly, loans also, you may have given a secured or unsecured loans to your employees or others, which also fetches you money. In these cases, your amount is not blocked at all or no amount is tied up. So even in the cash equivalents also. Similarly, in the current liabilities, so you have a lease liabilities, then you have other financial liabilities and other current liabilities. This may not be part where your actual amount is tied up. To know in detail about these uh, items, you need to look at the notes in the sense for an uh, annual report for each and every item which is presented in a balance sheet, you will find the notes. So suppose investments, it is uh, its notes is available in 9. For trade receivables, note is 15. For cash equivalents, note is 16. So we'll see the notes first. Here is the notes. Now investments, if you look at investments in equity instruments, 1000 crore, 1900 crore is invested there, investment in other instruments. Likewise, these all investments will yield you return. So where your amount is not actually tied up here, but you made your additional funds to earn money in the form of interest or a dividends. So all these are investments only. Next is your loans. So secured loans to employees and security deposits, loans to employees and security deposits. This is all, these are all current assets, but where your money is not actually tied in a business process and other financial assets also like uh, income tax and other uh, assets coming to inventories you have inventories you have a trade receivables here right and cash and cash equivalents now the idea is that while calculating the working capital there is another approach we call that as a clear working capital so in case of a clear working capital because this is a uh, clear working capital or we can say more conservative working capital here what is that we do is we take only those items in which your actual investment is tied up in that sense from a current assets you need to consider only two items one is the inventories and uh, plus your trade receivables and second is from current liabilities trade payables so from your annual report if you look at here your inventories are so here is your inventories 
इन्वेंट्रीज आर थाउजेंड नाइन्टी वन क्रोर देन योर ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स आर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड क्रोर सो वील टेक ओनली दीज आइटम्स इन्वेंट्रीज दिस इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड नाइन्टी वन पॉइंट नाइन सेवन प्लस यूर रिसीवेबल्स दीज आर वन थाउजेंड सिक्स नॉट थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर so this total gives you sum of current assets and from this you need to deduct your payables so your trade payables are sum of trade payables is this part that is 3022.18 plus 8.33 crore so this equals to minus 335.4 in the sense your current assets that is the amount which is blocked in your current inventories and your trade receivables are less than your payables now as you are getting a negative working capital what this indicate is this good for the business entity or bad the negative working capital here indicates that the amount that is tied up in your current assets is less than the amount that you have to pay that mean you are getting a more advantage of a payables you may be wondering that the financial ability of this firm is weaker no that's not true here here the amount that is blocked from your site is lesser amount in the sense only 2600 crore of your amount is blocked on the other hand you have a flexibility of 3010 crore that is you have to pay that mean you are getting a more flexibility from a payable site so this is how you need to calculate the gross working capital net working capital and a clear working capital thank you thank you for watching the lecture